Hey, what's up guys? I'm DoomoBJ, and this is the world's first solo double chem strike. After a lot of fails, guys, we finally got it. Aways had the game end one off yesterday on the same exact map, and Zoom yesterday died one off to an attack dog. So those were both really unfortunate deaths, and if they were both using Hardline, we would have had it yesterday. But that doesn't really matter. We finally got it today by Doom Zoom. The dude's been going ham in Call of Duty Ghosts. Already has over 20 chem strikes called in in just two days of the game being released. So be sure to go check out his channel. It'll be the first link at the top of the description. Be sure to go give him a subscription because he's been dropping even more chem strikes over on his personal channel. Anyways, this is some 6v6 domination on the map Whiteout. It's a snow map, it's really big, but Zoom was able to patrol it using the Honey Badger with the Grip and the Red Dot Sight. He was also using Stalker, Scavenger, Amplify, Focus, and Hardline as his perk setup. Amplify is probably the most important perk. It's used for sound whirring, and it really does let you know where every single enemy on the enemy team is on the map. His specialist bonus consisted of Dead Silence, Quick Draw, and Off the Grid. All very important perks for Chem Strikes. And then his specialist bonus was Ready Up, Sleight of Hand, Wiretap, and Blast Shield. If you don't know, Wiretap is probably another important perk because it gives you more satcoms. I almost said UAVs right there, but I caught myself. It gives you more satcoms. When enemies call them in, you can use them. So if someone on the enemy team is running support satcoms, you actually get those while they call them in. It works for both of you, so you can actually use those to your advantage. It's almost like having a VSAT and specialist bonus combined. So it's a pretty awesome perk in my opinion. I would highly recommend using that, along with Amplify and Off the Grid. I think those are the most important perks in this game. Also, what Zoom was doing to make this a successful game was he was controlling the building by A domination. It has a vantage point because it has that height advantage along with the three windows that provide a head glitch. It's perfect for spawn killing them off the A flag and it is definitely the place that you want to be on the map whiteout. You do not want to be by the boat side of the map because you'll get picked off there easily. If there are players on the boat when they flip spawn, there are usually snipers and marksman rifle guys and LMG players that will just camp there and make you their easy target. So make sure to stay around A domination if you're using an AR or an SMG to stay within your comfort zone of the gun that you're using. Obviously you do not want to put yourself at a disadvantage by going into long range of sight if you're a player like Zoom who likes to rush around a lot. Anyway, I think that's just about it for the gameplay. I think I should also mention the one small tiny fact that he did manage to lose the game, unfortunately. His teammates weren't that great. He did end up with three flag caps, and he couldn't really do too much more about it. He did call in his chem strikes to try to win the game for his team, but there's just nothing more he could do, and he ended up losing by 65 points. But anyway, this is still an impressive gameplay nonetheless. The first solo double chem strike, there was one that was posted with support already. I'm kind of surprised that people are already pulling out support just two days into the game and also there was one when he was playing with one other friend unfortunately that isn't solo it technically is the world's first unsupported and bravo to that but this is the world's first solo gameplay and hopefully you'll enjoy it in the background so today what I wanted to talk about are two channel updates to Doom Clan because a lot of people on our Twitter have been asking the same two questions. The first one is when is the top five plays of the week going to return? We haven't actually posted one in the last two weeks because we haven't gotten some standout clips. And guys, it's going to be returning in Call of Duty Ghosts, and you guys need to send in your ghost clips to the email account in the description. We actually changed it, so pay attention guys. It is now doomclant5 at gmail.com. The old one got really spammed with all the RC submissions and all the old Black Ops 2 clips, so we thought it would just be easier to create a new Gmail account. Once again, it is doomclant5 at gmail.com. Send all your unlisted YouTube link ghost clips there, and if you get uploaded in the video, we'll shout you out in the description, hopefully gaining you some exposure for your beastly COD playing skills. Anyways, the second question that we always get asked is about the RC, the recruitment challenge that ended on October 21st. So that was about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Anyway, people wanted to follow up on that. Who got recruited into the clan and who are the new players, commentators, and GFX artists? 
So I guess we're doing that right now. We really didn't plan on making a video about this, but so many people asked that I guess we're forced to do one. So here's the list of the people that got recruited for the players, commentators, and GFX guys. So, the pub stompers that got recruited since the recruitment challenge have been Doom Poyo, the Shotgun Beast, Doom Fultz, a really good streamer, along with Doom Zack, another really great streamer, Doom Zero, and Doom Cards, two really other good pub stomping players, and then Doom Rinaldi, the free for all beast. The commentators that got recruited are Doom Refresh, who has the deepest voiced NA, and Doom Legacy, another guy who I think was in Carnage before he joined Doom, and then the GFX artists, ah, oh god, I don't even remember them right now. I think one of them is Doom Uber Dolphin, who just made our backgrounds that we have right now, the ghost-themed Doom one, and oh, I swear we have a few more, but you know what, guys? Check the roster right now. It is on our um, YouTube channel, so if you want to, go check the roster to see the full list of people in Doom currently, and then you'll see the updated list of whoever we recruited. I'm sorry I don't remember any of the GFX guys' names. Man, that makes me sound like a uh, douchebag for not caring about them, but uh, whatever, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I do have one more update before we go. We are also getting into live streaming. Our Twitch is Doom Clan Live. Make sure to follow that because we'll be streaming some chem strikes in the near future and i think that brings you guys up to date with what we're doing on doom clan channel i think there is no more frequently asked questions let me just think for a second oh you know what the other main question people have been asking are is um will we use support and we are not going to be posting support gameplays on doom clan for a long time guys don't worry we're staying solo Anyway, that's the end of the video. That's every single update with Doom that you guys need to know. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'm sure someone will answer them that's in Doom. Anyway, thanks for watching. Once again, the player is Doom Zoom. For this amazing world record, make sure to go sub him up. And my name, once again, is OBJ Every Day. If you want to go sub me up, my channel will be right below Zooms. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out. Friendly SATCOM active. Chem strike available. Friendly chem strike incoming. Securing B.